Hello there! In this video, we'll talk about boards, how to create them, and how to make the most of them in Notion. Boards are a specific way of displaying a database where items or cards organized into columns. Often, people will use them to visualize stages of a process, like on a Kanban board. In Notion, boards are designed to be your ideal companion for project management. Here's an example of a board for tasks that could be shared by an entire team. As you can see, every task is a card, and cards are grouped based on their status. To do, doing, and done. Cards can be easily dragged and dropped between columns, so you can literally move projects forward through your process as you complete them. Here, you can see that board cards are grouped according to people. You can either view the tasks according to the product manager or the engineer working on it. In each case, these groups are based on properties. Properties are pieces of information about each card on your board. For instance, on this task board, there are two properties, status and date created. To add a property to your board, click add a property. You'll be prompted to choose what type of property you want to add, whether it's a text field, person, date, etc., and give it a name. I can decide to show these properties directly on my cards by toggling them on, or hide them by toggling them off. Hiding properties can help you simplify your board and focus only on what matters. You'll notice that every card on your board can be open as its own Notion page, where you can store all the information you want. Properties will appear and can be edited at the top of that page. Just like galleries in Notion, boards allow you to have neat card covers, images displayed right on your board view. You have several choices for how to do this. Given that each card is a Notion page, you can add a cover image to a page and have it show up as your card cover on your board. Or you can choose page content and the first image in the body of your pages will show up as the card covers. And if you have a file property and use it to upload images to the cards on your board, you can have those images display as card covers. One other formatting option, you can pick your card size, small, medium, or large. Finally, what makes boards unique is that you can group your cards by property. You can even create multiple views of the same board that allow you to view your database differently. In this case, our cards can be grouped by engineers, task type, sprint number, product manager, priority, or status. In the case of this roadmap, cards can quickly add up in the completed column. A way to avoid too much data congestion is to hide the column. Click on the column's three-dot menu and select Hide. You will still be able to drag and drop your cards in this column. As you'll notice, you can also rename your columns by clicking on their headings. As with other database types, you can filter and sort the data on your board. For example, you could apply a filter to only see cards that represent tasks assigned to Joe. Your board immediately changes to hide all the other cards that don't fit that criteria. Also like other database types, you can view your board many different ways, as a table, calendar, etc. You can create as many views of the same data as you want and switch between them using the view menu at the top left corner of your board. You can also create views based on different board groupings or filters. That way, it's easy for you to toggle between your full board with all your projects and a board showing only projects that are high priority. Want to find out more about our other database views? Check out our videos on galleries, calendars, lists, and tables. We hope this helps you run clear processes.